All right, so I'm about to flip it. So. All right. Good. Okay. Hey, Shalom. Yes, like we have, you know, Satan, the difficult, the technical difficulties. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I'll, I'll go back to Genesis. Basically, we're just proving that that um, you know, that Yahweh Shai, you know, he, he uh, you know, he was, he's in the scriptures and was always prophesied about as, as being that figure to deliver the nation of Israel. You know, to deliver the whole nation of Israel, but starting with the elect. Okay. Uh, so we're just showing proof in the scriptures again that the Lord has always been uh, throughout the scriptures, and we're going all the way back to Genesis now. Okay, so I'm gonna read this, read this again, and then you got um, Isaiah two, right, or somebody, whatever. Right? So this is uh, Genesis chapter forty nine, verse uh, verse ten, because a brother just brought out, uh, we just broke down Shiloh and what that means. Another, the Lord has many names, right, and one of them is Shiloh, which it means the peace. Okay. Matter of fact, someone can hold the Isaiah, the ninth chapter. I got that. I got that. <laughs> come, come. Come. Yeah, that's right. All right, so I'm, I'll read it again. It says, uh, Isaiah 49, verse 10, it says, the, scepter, the, the scepter shall not depart from Judah. And that scepter is talking about um, uh, really Yahweh Shah, you know? Well, really, Judah is set up as the uh, as the, the top tribe, you know? Uh, all Basically, all sh tribes to praise him. Why? Because... Why should all tribes praise the tribe of Judah? Because the Lord came out of the tribe of Judah. You know, so if we're going to praise the Lord, we're going to praise the tribe the tribe he came out of, which means basically he's the that's the top tribe, Judah. Yeah. And also, yeah, the, but, um, you know, um, when when you look at all the modern day camps, like the reason why Esau keep pushing Black Hebrew Israelites, Black Hebrew Israelites, because mainly throughout the four corners, you'll see Judah out there at the forefront bringing out the truth. But now you're starting to see a big influx of the Eph of, of, of Ephraim, the northern tribes, on down, all the way down to Issachar, you know? Right. So to the point where Esau can't even have a case to even call us the so-called black Hebrew Israelites anymore because what? All the other nations are coming in. All the other nations of Israel are coming in. That's right. But it all started with Judah. Huh. Yep. Huh. That's right. That's right, Doc. It says... um. It says, yeah, the, the, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and which represents Yahweh Oh, real quick. Uh, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, definition of Shiloh, in it it said it's also an epithet, right? And the word epithet means any word or phrase applied to a person or thing to describe an actual or attributed quality. That sounds like an uh, adjective, really. Yeah, epithet yeah, is right, like right. adjective. Yeah, like something that describes, a, a, but it's in a form of a name, right? A so, name, okay. A name that describes a person. Come, um, come. Right? You have an omen, right? Come, come, come. Example, come. example come. says Richard the Lionhearted is an epithet of Richard the First, which we know uh, Yahweh Shai's Mashiach. Is, is is basically his epithet or his only nomen. He's what? He's going to deliver the nation of Israel. Right? Yeah. He's that's, an anointed deliverer. Right? That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You, you said it. Your spirit had it. That's why, yeah, I always like to, when I read it like that, I read his actual, when you read Jesus Christ, you're really saying, save your anointed or anointed savior. Mm -hmm. or, or because why? How you say anointed in Christ, you would say in Hebrew is Hamashiach, mm -hmm. anointed one. Yeah. Yahweh Shai would be savior or he the deliverer. So he the deliver basically you're saying the anointed deliverer. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? The anointed deliverer. Yeah. The chosen deliverer. Uh, quick precept. So mm -hmm. okay, can I read the yep. second real quick? And it says a characterizing word, remember this is the definition of epithet, which is the uh basically what shadow is of the Lord, an epithet, right? Mm -hmm. It says a characterizing <laughs> word or phrase firmly associated with a person or thing. And often used in place of an actual name or title or the like, as as and it gives an example, a man's best friend is for what? A dog. dog. You know? Mm -hmm. yes, con, dog con. Con. Okay, come, come. Uh, let me just finish this up. It says the scripture shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until shadow come, and until until unto him shall the gathering of the people be. So that that that's plain right there. 
You mean, yeah, quick precept. Yeah, going into the epithet and the nomen omen. Uh, this is Matt, Saint Matthew chapter one verse twenty one. And she shall bring forth the son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. It says Jesus there, but obviously that's not his name. Okay, for he shall save his people from their sins. Right, and that's the nomen omen behind his name. He shall save. He shall deliver. Mm -hmm. Right, that's the meaning of his name. You can't break down the word Jesus to he delivers. That's not you know. That's not what that means. All right, but in ancient Hebrew, yeah, Yahweh Shai means he he saves, he delivers. Yeah. You know, all right, nomen omen. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so whenever you hear of the Savior, automatically you know who that's talking about. Okay. That's the Lord's omen omen, or that's his epithet. You know? Yeah, yeah. Nah. that's the Greek way of saying uh, uh, Joshua. Yeah, you, you go into uh, a certain scriptures about Joshua, mm -hmm. they call him Jesus. Man. Yeah, so also know how we know his name is Yahweh Shai. Yeah. That's uh, how you say, uh, well, Yahweh Shai is uh, Joshua, but he's the living. So it's Yahweh Shai. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 well, and even too, even Joshua, he was a deliverer himself. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. He was, so Joshua was a deliverer himself. Mm. You know, so the names are very precious. Why? Because Joshua was working with uh, Moses. You know, I believe that Joshua was the. Uh, he was a second in command and went into uh, uh, the land of Canaan, yeah. Yeah. you know, because it was actually what Moses died. He didn't step foot there. And it was Joshua and it was a Caleb. Yeah. Yeah. Joshua and Caleb went into the, the promised land, so to speak, for the land of Canaan, which is basically the uh, the land of Israel today, our land, you know. So and, and so they were part of that deliverance. They delivered uh, the, uh, uh, the nation of Israel from the, from the hand of Egyptians and, and, and brought them into uh the land of milk and honey, <laughs> you know, Israel. Yeah. Okay, so you have that in Isaiah. Yep. Uh, this is Isaiah going into um, Shiloh uh, until Shiloh come because we've established that Shiloh means peace. All right. This is Isaiah chapter nine verse six. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. Yeah, government means control, and the and the control. Well, the government which he's going to control. Because why? He's our deliverer, he's our savior, and he's our he's the king of kings and he's the king of Israel. You know? The the government should be upon his shoulder. Okay, our Lord and our Savior have a shot. Mm -hmm. yep. And also when you read in Isaiah the second chapter where it talks about the mountains, you know, the mountains and you know, it's talking about the government, the rulership. Right. You know, it's all it's all on top of Yahweh Shai's shoulder. Right. Okay. And his name shall be called wonderful, mm -hmm. counselor, mm -hmm. the mighty God or power. The everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. See, the Prince of Peace. You see that? The Prince of Peace. Okay? So we just proved to you that what? The Shiloh represents Yahweh Shai. And we just proved to you in Isaiah 9 that what? That's talked about Yahweh Shai. And that's another, they, they call him the Prince of Peace. The Lord has many titles, man. And they all mean basically the same thing. Because when the Lord comes, there's going to be peace on earth, man. You know? We're going to prove it through the scriptures. Hey, hey, I, that's funny. I just mentioned that in uh, Isaiah the second chapter. That, uh, when the Lord comes, there's gonna be there's gonna be peace on earth, right? Going there and next, right? Yeah, which yeah. proves that. That's why. See, that's why the today's Amalekites or today's people who call themselves Jews, they don't want they don't they don't want to acknowledge Yahweh Shai or a Messiah because, or they don't want to acknowledge that He's here yet because there's no peace on earth. Right. Because why? The prophecy says when we go back in our own, in our own land, or excuse me, I'll say this when they. When the Israelites go back in their own land, there will be peace on earth. Okay? Which That's they claimed to do in 1948. Yeah, which they claimed to do in 1948, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't make sense, man. That's why there, there's been more war since these these damn uh, gutter rats have been going into the land, man. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the sole reason why today fake Jews try to denounce the Lord uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, who you, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. That's why they don't believe him. Because why? Because it makes them look like like a bunch of lies that they really are. And it doesn't okay. fit their story. Yeah. You know? huh. And the uh, biggest hypocrisy behind those Amalekites, those fake Jews over there, is what? They say that they don't believe in the New Testament. They believe in the Tanakh, which is the five um, the five books, uh, first books of the, of, of the Torah, right? Yeah, yeah, but we're pulling scriptures out. The, uh, the, right. The we just we, we just, through the Spirit, brought out a scripture in Deuteronomy, the 18th chapter and the 15th verse of the prophecy of Yahweh Shai, okay? Through the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, you know? <laughs> but what? Um, what is it with these Amalekites? Um, 
they'll say, uh, they'll say that the Lord, that they're, that they're the true Israelites according to the scriptures, but yet there's still war on the planet. Yeah. Right? These devils are the ones that are shooting, who's, who's shooting uh, 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 missile strikes on Syria at, within the last, within the last three months, you know? Hey, Israel's fucking slaughtering people, man. Gaza. Yeah. Yeah, I saw, yeah, the Gaza Strip. I was looking at some, you know, weapons of Esau, you know? Yeah. And I came across, you know, I was looking at weapons that Russia has. They have, you know, a more elite, more advanced weaponry. And then, of course, the thumbnails I was going into, not thumbnails, but the description box was leading me to all the videos. And I saw a video where it talks about um, Israel has advanced weapons that they use on the people in Gaza, <laughs> that they use on the people in uh, the Gaza Strip. Yeah. They have uh, certain um, weapons that uh that are motion detectors like kind of robots and they're just like uh, you know people crossing the border just automatically picks them out man so then they're, they're slaughtering those people over there and this is not reported on and here it is they always play they always play victim when yo they're literally slaughtering there's been cases where they as soon as they get to a fence or little children or a woman they're they're being killed and slaughtered you know yeah just for protesting yeah just for protesting man you know Okay, yeah, Isaiah second chapter? Yeah, come on. It's, uh Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1, uh, the word that Isaiah, uh, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, and it shall come to pass in the last days See? Mm -hmm. that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the in the top of the mountain. See, the brother just broke down, uh, brought up the word mountain before. Yeah. Okay, read that again. Come and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain. See, what's the mountain of the Lord's house? Well, the mountain of the Lord's house is the, it's the nation of Israel, yeah. the government. The mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on top of the mountains, right? It's a, yeah. All right, because why? That's another beautiful uh, understanding of the word Zion, which means monument. But Zion, Zion is an actual place, too. I did a, a show on it. I got to re-look at my notes. But it also means... Um, so like it also means a sunny place, okay? And, and it also means the top of a mountain also, because what's the top of the mountain? Doesn't it re re receive all the sunlight? I'll say this, the summit of a mountain receives all, all the sunlight, uh, 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 light from the sun, I'll say. Yeah. So it's a sunny place, mm. right? There's no shadow on the top of a mountain. Right. So that's why it says, in the, um, I, um, that's what the Lord said in Matthew, the fifth chapter, uh, uh, the children of Israel is like a hill. There's like a um, matter of fact, can you get it? I don't want to go break, break, you know, butcher it. Yeah. It's in Isaiah, the fifth chapter. You, you, you'll see it. Yeah, yeah, like they cannot be hit. Yeah. Right. So that's why I said um, Israel should be on the top of Zion. And if someone want to look up Zion real quick, sorry, because there's, there's some meat in there. If you look up in the um, Hebrew, you know, but well, you can read. Yeah, someone else could. Look up the uh, Zion in the Hebrew. Oh, God. Okay, God. Um, And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel house, shall be established. The nation of Israel uh -huh, yeah. should be established, uh huh? Yeah. Um, in the top of the mountain. The top of the mountains, uh huh? And shall be exalted above the hills. See, ex oh, exalted above the hills. Uh -huh. Yeah. And the hills are you other nations. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. And yep. all and, nations. And the proof of that is it describes, if you look at Jeremiah 16 and 16, it talks about the mountains again, the mountains, and it talks about the hills. The hills are the smaller countries. Yep. So mountains and hills, you know, describe uh, countries. It doesn't always mean an actual mountain. You, know? you see how the Spirit is switching now, just uh, elaborating our shot. Uh -huh. And shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. Yeah, see, all nations shall flow onto it, which proves that what? Yahweh Shai has to come back here for, it, for there to be peace on earth. Because that's why it says when Shiloh comes, yeah. you know, he's that he's that that peace or that part. He's everything where when he comes back, there's going to be peace on earth. Now, you're going to have your little wars here and there, but that, that we're going to be settling, you know, basically not little wars, but little conflicts that we'll be uh, uh, correcting. Yeah. <laughs> not even major conflicts. We're talking about like just beat you down if you worship an idol, you know what I mean, or something like that. Yeah, we're just going to deal with that situation. Yeah, yeah, but this is complete peace on earth, you know. There's only The only non-peace is going to be put upon Edom, because <laughs> he's going to be crying every day, screaming every day. Well, there was you accounts know? in the scriptures where it says if, if a nation 
if a nation doesn't obey um, our judgment and our word, then what? Will we'll cause uh, um, it to no longer rain upon their nation. Going to show oh, that yeah, other yeah, nations yeah, yeah, yeah. are, there, there's going to be a nation here, here and there that are going to go off every now and again, and we're going to punish them for it. That's right. Yeah, that's you right. Know? That's right. That's right, brother. You know? Yeah. So, um, and many people shall go and say, Come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, mm -hmm. to the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways. Yeah, man, you guys will be willingly, you know, we're gonna beat it into you, but it's gonna it's gonna come to a point. But you're gonna be willingly wanting to learn the wisdom and knowledge of, of, of Yahweh Shema Shai upon the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you are the nations were created to serve and to be in you are the nations that were created to serve, be servitudes or under the nation of Israel. Yeah. We are the, the nation of Israel are our ambassadors to Yahweh Shema Shai. Mm -hmm. We are the representatives of Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, so at the end of the day, the nation of Israel, we're going to show you how it's all done. You know, we're going to show you how to uh, uh, agriculture, how to grow your crops, how to how, what true wisdom, what true wisdom, knowledge is understanding is, and it resides all in our laws. It resides all in the heaven of the Holy Father and our Lord. We're going to show you how it's done because Esau showed you the the, the, the left side, which you see what's going on now. But all other nations would be. Begging for our wisdom and understanding because at the end of the day it's gonna benefit them. They're gonna be they're gonna have beards in the kingdom. Yeah. You know, they're gonna have beards, they're gonna have to keep the laws, you know, all the laws. Hebrew. Yeah, they're gonna be speaking the Hebrew. That's right, brother. They're gonna be yep, that's okay. come. They're all nations will be we going to one language. Okay. Basically all the laws you can think of, they will keep be keeping. Because this is the law, actually at the end of the day, this is the law of nature. This is the law of the universe, the laws that were given up to us. And we're going to show you how it's done, all right? Mm -hmm. Hey, and this and, and this scripture right here is a cold cut um, for, for for any naysayers or any people out there that says that the second covenant is for all people. Because if the second covenant is for all people and the law says the commandments are given in their inward part, then why are all the other nations going to come to us to seek their ways? And um, I'll read it again. And many people shall go and say, let us uh, 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 come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. Huh. And that's proof that, again, the so-called Jews, the fake Jews, they're not they're not the nation. Right. Because all nations, according to that scripture, should be going on to them and trying to trying to learn their ways. Yep. Who the hell is trying to learn uh, the fake Jews' ways today? Not Iran. I mean, yeah, yeah, <laughs> not Iran, yeah. Like the brothers, ain't nobody, ain't nobody trying to learn their ways, man. So the, 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 this nation is completely off. The cat's out the bag, all right? And they're going down, man. Yep. So like the, like mm -hmm. like yeah. Yeah, when the Lord comes back, again, all nations will be tributaries, but they will be learning the ways of, of our laws. That will be eventually is the laws of life. The laws that we have are the laws of life that all nations will be doing, man. Uh-huh. It's like, yeah. And, and, and they don't even, they don't even uh, uh, worship the Lord the right way. They follow what's called the, the Talmud, yeah. which they, they uh, promote sex with, with minors, man. They, they, uh, Bite the man, they bite off the, 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 the foreskin with their mouth of, 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 a, of, of a, a young boy, man. Mm -hmm. So the things they do is, is not even in, in the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. They follow what's called the Talmud. They have to create their own thing, you know? They have to prove that they're demons, man. Yeah. They're Satans. That's against the truth. It's adverse to truth. Mm -hmm. That was it. You no, uh, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law. See, out of Zion should go for the law. Uh -huh. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. Mm -hmm. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares. Matter of fact, someone get a first chapter of Psalms too. Hold oh, that on. Thanks. Psalms first or second? It's the second one, yeah. second, yeah. Well, we'll hit, well, you got third next. Are you, you back? I, um, I was going to read Zion, but I'm at Psalms too. Well, hey, so that, well, do what you got to do, brother. Yeah. This is, um, yeah. Psalms chapter 2, verse 1. Yeah, Why do we need to read and if people imagine a vain thing? Because the brother just read that last part. Because he said we're going to read that last part about and, the nations. Uh, yeah, and, and he shall judge among the nations. See, yeah, we're going to judge among the nations. Ha! <laughs> so he tells you right here. We're going to be beating it. Well, anyway, go ahead. Of course, man. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. With, uh, That's how we're going to judge it, Wasses, man. Yeah. Not with democracy, not with you uh, yeah, yeah. making laws or voting. Not yeah. what we're going to do. 
we what we want to do according to the scriptures, man. And that's to beat your ass and 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 that revenge, man. Because right. that's what it's all about. The, the Lord is going to allow us to take vengeance, which is righteous payback on, on upon our enemies. It's judgment. That that's that's part of the promise, man. The things that you did uh, to to the nation of Israel, it's it's uh, time to pay the piper now, man. Yeah, because basically you know, the first a thousand years we're going to be beating you other nations in the shape. Mm -hmm. You know, and then after a thousand years you're going to go around. You know, you're going to go back. You know, this is our world, but we're going yeah. to give you a portion of land. Yeah, you know, you can you know, that you can dwell in and 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 be live in peace. You know, but you will we will be served servants unto us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you still got paid tribute. You, you know, you you know you're still going to be under us. You, you know, know, if you go off, we're going to beat your ass down yeah. again. You know, yeah. that's going to happen. Yeah, especially when Esau is done with. But the, the, the spirit is still going to be what in those other nations. Yeah, exactly. You know, so Satan is still going to be being a mist, but the, the nation of Eden is just not going to be anymore. You know? And it just shows you another. That's another beautiful understanding of the truth that it shows you that this is realistic. Like it shows you that in this place, it's still going to be people kind of still kind of going off. Right. And like other nations, you you know, you still put judgment on them. It. it shows you the real that realism of the kingdom, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, the balance, you know what I mean? Right. It's not going to be no chaos, but we're still going to have to uh, 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 do, you know, correct, do rebuking, mm -hmm. like we're reading. Mm -hmm. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. It says, Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Holy hill again, see? The holy hill. Uh -huh. hmm. um, it says, Okay, I will declare, I will declare the, the decree the Lord have said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance mm -hmm. in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Okay. I want to get that part where it says it should beat him. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. It's coming up, and I got to bring something there. Okay. It says, Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Yeah, there you go. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a powdered vessel. Yeah, that's that judgment that the brother that's right. Thou shalt, what, what did it say again? Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Yep, we're going to have that rod, man. Uh huh. Thou shalt dash it in pieces like a part of vessel. Yeah, that's self-explanatory. Okay, that was it. That was it. Okay, so back to that, and then you have the definition of Zion, because I want to get that out and go to Matthew. So, okay. Quick precept. Uh, this is Revelation chapter two, verse twenty-six. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule over them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Don't want to show that the Old Testament and New Testament is hand in hand, man. You know, it's all talking about the same thing. You know, the subject matter never strayed from the Old Testament. It's all about the Israelites, you know, coming back into, um, in, in, into rulership. You know, the first covenant, right? The first covenant was so that the law, statutes, and commandments were given into the house of Israel so they could go into the land of milk and honey and rule the nations in righteousness. But what? Our people went off. They went astray. The Lord took us away um, 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 from our nationality, put us into captivity. But what? The second covenant is to bring us right back into that into that same state so that we could do what? So we could rule over the nations with a rod of iron. Okay? It's really simple. You know? But on this on this time it's gonna be in our in, inward parts. Inward parts. So yeah. now we won't yeah. fall back like 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 we did before. Yep. It, it, it'll I'm be impossible for us to do it. For us to fall back. Just like essentially it was impossible for us to keep it, right? Because we're in this flesh. But on the, the second go round or the second covenant, it's gonna be impossible for us to go astray from the law again. Okay? So then what's happening? We're gonna come full circle, man. We'll be totally righteous, man. Okay, because in order to be righteous, you have to know and experience wickedness, which the nation of Israel did. You know, it's all a part of the Most High's plan. You know, it's beautiful. Real quick, you know, not to change the subject. You know, just um, a quick side note. Um, 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 the elder said that essentially we were programmed the first go around to go off. 
you know, and a quick scripture just to prove that in the scriptures this is Romans the eighth chapter and the uh and the twentieth verse. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath uh, uh subjected the same in hope. Okay. Point blank period. All right, we were, we were, hey, we were given that stony heart, okay, so that what at the first go around we we would go off experience wickedness go through hell and then be brought back so what we could be brought um, um um so we can experience both good and evil you know the fulfillment of pretty much in the garden you know of uh, of, of tasting the fruit of the tree which was an actual fruit of a tree you know it was the it was the experience of of of, 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 of not of uh, righteousness and, and, and wickedness at the same time you know hey man who are we to judge the most high man it's all the most highest movie man you know uh, that was it. That was it on. Um, okay. I'll finish off Isaiah, the second chapter, um, verse four. Uh, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war and any more. See, so that stuff is that's very you know, that's something I knew before I even got the truth. I always yeah. knew, it like, oh, okay, it's, you always heard about that scripture, even in the world, you know, right? That when the Lord comes back, they always bust out that scripture. That there's going to be peace. You're going to be beating your uh, your military. Basically, all the the stuff that you see, the technology you see in the world that's built towards uh, warfare, the technology or whatever in the kingdom, well, say the spiritual technology or, or instruments are going to be used for agriculture, are going to be used for peace. You know, for producing uh, uh, foods for agriculture, for cultivating the the, the, the the ground. Okay, healing the world. You know. It, 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 so that aspect is going to be in the, for a peaceful manner. All right. Uh, you had that in uh, Matthew? Oh, I mean, uh, uh, Zion? Yeah. This is the definition of Zion. Uh, Zion. Which Zion in the Hebrew is to Zion, which means a monument or something to remember, which shows you that the Lord will never forget us. But one of the, uh, another beautiful thing about Zion, which I, again, I did a show on months ago, and I, I, I didn't know until I did the research on it, the beautiful understanding. Because again, when you look at the analogy of Matthew, the fifth chapter, which you're going to read about, Zion, well, we'll go, we'll go right into it, we'll explain it. We're that top hill, let's explain it. Right there. Zion, it means a parched place, another name for Jerusalem, especially in the prophetic books. Okay, yeah, so a parched place, parched means what? Dry. So when you say, what's another, what you understand that when someone says, oh, I'm parched. You know, what does that mean? Oh, my, I'm, I'm thirsty, my throat's dry. Mm. Oh, I'm parched, can I get a drink? So Zion means, means a parched place. So Zion was is an actual location. Also, it's it's a it's an actual location which is dry. Mm -hmm. Now, isn't isn't uh, the top of a mountain, uh, uh, which receives all the sunlight? Uh, 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 well, I'll say this: isn't the top of a mountain? Wouldn't it be dry? Wouldn't it be a parched place? Right. Okay. Or similar. Uh, well, I'll keep going. You need that more, right? It goes on to say. Um, in the Hebrew uh, lexicon, a, a sunny place, a sunny mountain. See, a sunny place. So again, the top of a mountain or the highest point of a mountain will be a sunny place. A sunny place would be a dry place, a parched place. Mm. Uh huh. From the root to Zion, prepared a fortress. In, uh, mm -hmm. uh, jump into Daniel, yeah, yeah. Mario, that's the last point. Con, it. Number two, uh, the next point, it included the more ancient part of the city with the citadel and temple, Mount Moriah. And I remember this brother broke it down. Citadel means a, uh, a, a fort, no, uh, protective fort, right? Yeah. Right? Well, you said like a... They got, they got the citadel in Haiti, Haiti you're saying, right? Yeah. Which was a fort. Fort. It was high, and then, and then it was high. Yeah, yeah. Right? It was, go ahead. It was high, and it was meant to look over to see the enemy coming. Huh. Yeah. So Citadel would be at a high place, a high mountain, so you can oversee uh, 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 your enemies coming uh, abroad, you know? So this is beautiful how it all ties in together, okay? Mount Moriah and what's the temple was built, be record to Zion. Boom, you see that? Now that's the point. Mount, Mount Moriah, that's where the uh, actual location of Zion or the place is, that parched place. So when I did the research, Mount, was it Moria? Mm -hmm. say? Mount, uh, Mount Moria, Mount, Mount, Mount Moriah, Mount Moria. If you look up Mount Moria in Israel, it's the highest highest point in Israel. 
okay? It's the highest point of visual, which means it's the highest hill above sea level, okay? So so we proved the point that that's what it means that when it says to Zion is that is that a sunny place or parched place or that place on our hill that cannot be hit, all right? Which receives all that light, okay? I'm going to uh, Matthew, Matthew 5 and 14. We are the light of the world. Yeah. It's uh-huh. a city that is set on a hill. Can you see that? You see how beautiful it is? perfect. You see it says a city. Remember, we just described the city down, all right? Or a fort. Okay, so read that again. It says, we are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. Not only the light represents the light that, that the top of the mountain receives, but we are the light of the world. Because when you look at the top of the mountain, it receives all that light. The summit, the mountain. It, we're the peak. We're the, the nation of Israel is the top of the mountain. Like we read, when the Lord sets up his mountain, it's going to be on top of all the other mountains, man. Okay? So we're, again, I'm sorry. We are the light of the world, uh-huh. a city that is set on a hill. See, a city that is set on a hill, and literally it was. Zion, which Mount Mora, which is which city was a set in a hill, the highest point in Israel. Uh-huh. Cannot be hit. It cannot be hit. Obviously, at the top of a mountain cannot be hit. That was it? Yeah, See, yeah that's that's the perfect precept, uh, you know, for that. Okay. Um, that was it on that? On that point? That was it, right? Yeah, that was it. Okay, huh. Yeah, so, All right. Yeah, so real quick. Uh-huh. Let's do Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. But thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above Ooh. all that are upon the face of the earth. See, you see that above again? You see? So it just shows you see how the spirit switching. Just talking about the glory of the nation of Israel, man. So I guess the spirit switching, hey, we're going, it's just showing the glory of the nation of Israel. And that there will be, not be any peace on earth until the Lord comes back. Okay, that's why it says it describes the Zion on the top of the hill, the top mountain, receiving that sun, that, that light, the play a city that cannot be hid. Okay. Um read that again. I think there was more in Matthews too. Oh, there was more too. Oh. But the way you can go back to the last. Go back to uh, Deuteronomy. Yeah. Deuteronomy seven and seven, the Lord did not set his love upon you. No chose you because you were more in number than any people, for he were the fewest of all the people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the uh, oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, as the Lord brought you out of their mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of uh, Pharaoh the king. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. I have a, a one here, uh, Matthew, because continue on. In Matthew's the fifth chapter, and it was at first fifth well, fourteen. I read it says, "You are the light of the world. This city that is set on a on a hill cannot be hid." It says, "Neither do men light a candle and and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and give it give it light unto all that are in the house. Let your light." Well, okay. Well, that was. I'm sorry. I thought it was one of something else. That was it then. Uh, that was just something. All right, it's locked. That was it. Yeah. No, yeah, it's Deuteronomy chapter four, uh, verse six. It says, "Keep therefore, keep therefore, and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this is a great nation, that it, uh, uh, um, um, surely this is a great nation. Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great?" Hath the Lord so nigh unto them, as the Lord our power in uh, is in all things that we call upon Him for? And what nation is there so great that hath the statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? I'm going to show you all these other nations are going to be looking up to us, man. Yeah. You know, looking up to us for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Yeah. You know, hey, you know. I, I, Again, going to show that the second covenant is for all people, you know, because why are they going to be looking up for us if, if the law is going to be in their inward part, you know, mm-hmm. you know? and going to show that this isn't about us. This is, we're not a great people because we're just so great, you know, because we're tall, you know, we, we can play basketball and do this and that and the third and we can, you know, whatever. This, that and the third, you know, and hey, Israel got a whole wide variety of, of talents mm-hmm. above all these other nations. Mm-hmm. We're great, we're a great people because of the law, statutes, commandments. We were chosen by the most high Yahweh man. You know? Yeah, we're great. Yeah, that's right. We're great because of the Lord, you know? Yeah, we're great because of the Lord. 
let me see. Uh, I got something here. We got something. Yeah, I got something. Okay. The Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. For the commandment is the lamp. Mm -hmm. And the law is light. Yeah, this is self explanatory. The commandment is a lamp. It's a light. It, it, it's, it's that we can use that which these commandments are illuminate your mind. You are enlightened. All right? Uh -huh. It says, and reproof of instructions are the way of life. Yeah, the reproof of instructions are a way of life. Okay? So again, you can see this corrupt world we're, we're in now does not have the light. The, 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 the laws of the of the Esau or the, his ways are the ways of wickedness. They're in darkness. Yeah. You know? But the laws of the most high, because look, if this if the so-called white men were so wise, right? Uh uh oh I'll say this, well, there's a good scripture going upon for that the um the wisdom of the wicked is is no, it's not wisdom. I'm saying it wrong. Uh, uh Wickedness is not yeah, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Right. You know? Uh uh, but the knowledge of any father, it like it says, is that lamp, is that light. And other all other nations will see that. I'm just trying to say that the 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 the, the wisdom of Esau obviously does not have the light because look at the current world, look at the state of the world. You still have wars wars going on. Yeah. You still have people living in poverty, you still have people uh, who are just uh uh not right, man. You know? This place is, is, is totally under the vibration of Satan, man. Okay? You people are mourning, you people are under uh, stress, you people are uh, have no knowledge of wisdom and understanding because look at your life. Alright? Look how horrible it is, man. Look at the more look at the people mourning. You have people over there in Venezuela damn near community cannibalism. You have race rights here in America, you have people stressed out. Right? eating raw meat. Venezuela. Yeah, raw meat. Oh yeah, brother did a show on that. I ain't could really eat raw meat. You know, this place is under a heavy satanic vibration. You know, we always bring out. That's where have most of the world's, most of the world's populations makes a dollar a day. Okay, but that, that's not a, 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 a. That's you know, as much wealth as you have, huh. it's not distributed correctly or righteously. Yeah, yeah come. Why well, does Esau is fucking ruined? Huh. You know, everything says he's. If you wake up, you got. Fucking cold cup of coffee, it's Esau's fault, man. You know? Because we have wicked, wicked. I think it's funny, bro. Yeah, it's right. Right. You go and trip over a goddamn sidewalk, that's fucking Esau. Esau man. Play, everything on foot. The way the world is today is because of Esau, man. Well, like we got wicked, wicked rulers. I'm sorry. This way we bring it. Like even a router, a wireless router. You know, you even have signals from those wireless router that it does damage to your brain. Yeah. Right? Okay? There's reports, documented facts about what cell phones do to your brain. Yeah. What? Well, 5G and how, you know, we can go on and on about the ways of Esau and his ways just destroy you, man. That's why, it, 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 about the weight, the, 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 the cell phone, that's why Bill Gates, he doesn't allow his, and he is the one that uh, was the founder of Microsoft. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't allow his children to have uh, cell phones or, or, or iPads. They don't use them. They don't use them. You know, there it is. This Bill Gates' children, they don't get uh, uh, shots or inoculations. You know, children, yeah. they get the measles or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They, know. they don't get any of those shits. Why? Because they know about uh, With those the are all just slow kills, man. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, why is that? I thought cell phones were so safe. Right. You know? Got a precept on that. Oh, yeah. uh, this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 14. And he dis and and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles mm. which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. That's right. And what's those miracles? The technology. The technology. All right. Yeah. Hey, he deceived the world. Oh, oh, Esau, the so-called white man, is so great. He came up with this, that, and the third. He's so smart. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if he's so smart, then how come the same technology gives you cancer? That's why right. can't you? Why can't you sleep? Why? Why? Why does the news tell you? Um, don't sleep in the. In, yeah. uh, don't sleep. In the bed with your cell phone, yeah. okay, overnight, yeah. because yeah. this thing will give you damn cancer, you yeah. know, or give you a damn brain tumor over slow time, kill. Yeah. a slow kill. If this devil was so smart, how come he's uh, uh, spraying chemtrails in the air? Yeah, that he has to breathe. Yeah, that he, he has to breathe too. Yeah, I, yeah. I met up with the elder, right? <laughs> hey, hey, uh, I meet up with you. Hey, shalom. How we go? We, we, we pan the horizon, and there's a perfectly beautiful sky, and the damn chemtrail with a damn airplane. Shooting uh, barium oxide and um, aluminum particles across the damn uh, across the damn air, man. You know, you know, and he's so smart because what he deceived them, okay? So and he and deceived them 
that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast that had the wound by a sword and did live. And that's talking about the the, the, the modern day uh, 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 Rome, okay? The the revitalized ancient Rome, Roman Empire, man. You know, that's, that's, hey, this is Rome all over again, man. You know? Yep. That's, yeah, that's the point on that. But he deceived them by this technology, man. You know? Go on. Anything else? I'll finish up soon. We're going to have 10 minutes. Well, yeah, so, you know, Spirit just showing you that, look, man, this current world is a heavy vibration to Satan. And that when the Lord comes back, all right, which proves that the Lord is not here, and when it comes back, it will not be this way. All other nations will be acknowledging the power of, of Israel, starting with our big brother, Yahweh Shai, from the power of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right? And we're coming into, in that, in the, <coughs> into that time right now. All right? The glorious, majestic uh, power on the nation of Israel, you know? Our, our, our majestic, glorious uh, uh, power and majesty is way greater. It's never going to be seen before. It's going to be it's, it's, it's way leaps and bounds ahead of what Esau ever think about, man. You know, we're going to have glorious, majestic, glorious chariots. You know, we're, we're, we're going to, the, the, the men of Lord are going to be truly decked out gloriously. We can't even imagine. Mm -hmm. We know, but we don't know. Yeah. Right? You know? You know, you know this is going to be, a, you know, a, a sight to see, man. Even we know, but you know, we're still, in, we're still, don't know it, so to speak. You know, we do and we don't. Not not to say it like that, but just to how how glorious it's going to be. You know, and that we're coming to that time. So it, basically, I'm saying that we're proof that Esau or those fake Jews are not those men because it's supposed to be a a, 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 a tragic, uh, not tragically, but a, a real different kind of world we're supposed to be living in when the nation of Israel set up. Right, and it's not what you see now, and, and we're coming to that time. It's, it's this place is over, it, man. That's something. That's something. Yeah, for me. This is uh, one of my favorite. This is Second uh, Corinthians four and three uh, and, and four. It says, "But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost." And that gospel is what, which is you know, the good news, which is what what we're talking about. The, the promises, the promises that are given to Israel. Okay. And I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. And you see, it said, it, it is, yeah, if our gospel is hit, it's hit to the not lost. And the ones who could really be lost are the nation of Israel. That's when the Lord came back and said, I'm not come for the lost tribes of the nation of Israel. Okay. And, but the, the point is, I'm going to bring out is hit all these treasures that we're bringing out, the glorious majesty of our kingdom, the chariots of how we are going to be, uh, dwelling with Yahweh Shem and Shai, all the nations being tributaries onto us. All this knowledge, the gospel is, is being is hit to you guys. We are much greater uh, than what uh, than what you uh, um, perceive, man. Jake want to be ham. I say want to be African. They want to live it up in America, but we're we're much greater than what what than what Jake knows out there, man. You know that's what we're trying to tell you, you stupid nickel knuckleheads. You know. Yep. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Yeah. And the God of this world is uh, the so called white man, or yeah. Esau, as he's named in the Bible. Man. Yeah. Okay? Esau has blinded you to think that you're so called Negroes, or uh, uh, Hamites, or you come from Kemet, or, or, you're, or you're Latino, or you're, you're Native American, or all of, all these other bullshit that's in the world. All the other philosophies, they stem from uh, Esau. All these bullshit religions, they stem from Esau. Okay? Uh, so it says, uh, it says, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light, there's a point, the light, we're going to go into the light. Mm -hmm. It says, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. Now that light is referring to what? That, that knowledge. That's right, that's right. Okay? Mm -hmm. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures mm -hmm. have not shined onto the two thirds of our people, man. Mm -hmm. They've only shined onto the elect. Okay? All right, so that, that's the point of, you know, the light. Okay. I guess we'll finish up some yeah, yeah. scriptures. Yeah, I got something. Yeah, I got something. Yeah, All right. Yeah, uh, this is uh, yeah, Khan, this is uh, um, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 2, verse 9. All right. Um, but as it is written, I have seen 
nor ear hath heard, neither hath entered into the heart of men the things prepared, which hath prepared for them um, that love him. Okay? So the Most High um, Heavenly Father, how about Shimei Oshai, you know, um, the scriptures talk about how the, the, the Most High has prepared many mansions, you know, for, for, his, for his elect, you know. You know, the ones that are, that are watching out there, the ones that are um, taking heed, you know, the ones that were chosen, you know. You have a great reward coming towards you, man. You know, our people are great people, and we're in, in our kingdom, like I said, like I said before, our kingdom is going to be greater than Esau's kingdom could ever imagine. Like the best, the uh, the, the, the big, the best place, um, in this in this current world that Esau rules right now is going to look like a damn homeless shelter compared to the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, compared to the to 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 the doorman. Remember when um the Queen of Sheba. Came up to meet King Solomon. She thought the doorman, all right. She thought King Solomon's servant was King Solomon. He was so decked out, man. You know, that's how that's how lavish it's gonna be. Okay, why? Because we're gonna be ruling the world in righteousness, man. You know, this, the, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. And, and and my last scripture I got is Proverbs twenty nine and two. When the righteous are in authority, yeah. the people rejoice. <laughs> But when the wicked bear rules, the people mourn. Okay, wow, that's a good answer, brother. <laughs> Here, read you know, that again. Yeah, no, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Now, hey, that's hey, that's that's why that's why that's why when in, in when when Isaiah's second chapter is fulfilled, there's not going to be no yeah, more no war pressure. set up in the world. Why? Because the righteous are going to be in authority, man. We're not going to be impeding in other people. We're not going to be sticking our nose in Venezuela, saying, "Hey, President Maduro, you should step down," even though. The people elected him fair and square. We're not going to be going over to Iran saying you should be doing this, that, and the third. Yeah, you okay? will. You will do it. You, you, hey, hey, hey. You know you're gonna you're you're gonna be walking in order. But if as long as you're um um um, um walking in the guidelines and walking in, in the lines of righteousness, we ain't gonna be messing with you like Esau, man. So you're gonna be rejoicing, okay? You don't gotta you ain't, you ain't gotta build nuclear weapons, man. You know you ain't gotta raise up arms. You ain't gotta. Be upset, okay? We're gonna leave you alone. We're not like Esau, man. You know? So I'll read it again. Um, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Okay, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn, okay? And the people are mourning right now. You can't deny it, you can't get around that. Right. Everybody's mourning. Right. You know, you got you, you, whales is beaching themselves, yeah. you know, fishes, you know, fishes is turning around. Animals. Suicide. Animals right. committing suicide, fishes running around in a circle until they just die, you know. Uh, 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 look at Yemen. I've been looking at a lot of news uh, um, articles on Yemen. You got you, you got babies, eleven-year-old uh, babies weighing like 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 twenty-five pounds. You know, nothing but skin and bones. You know, the people are rejoicing. Uh, 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 morning, man. You know, Edomites are uh, uh, overdosing off of um, um, methamphetamines, uh, heroin. You know, well, I always bring this stat out that America is the biggest consumer of uh, antidepressant um, uh, medication, mm. which proves they're depressed. But what does it mean to be? Um, yeah. So yeah. So anti, anti depressed. So America takes drugs so they can be against being depressed. Hmm. When you depress, you're mourning. All right. Uh, anything else? Yeah. Um, James five and seven. <clears throat> It says, "Be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman, the husbandman, waited for the precious fruit of the earth, and have long patience for it." I'm talking about the house shot until he received the early and latter rain. Be also patient, establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord. Draw not. Kind of. Hey, very simple scripture, man. So the the, the coming of the Lord draws not, and we were at that time, man. You know, we're in a glorious historical time. And uh, you see, like the Lord is working with the the the, the elect brothers. The brothers are gaining more knowledge. You know, you know, it's just the uh, the spirit is rising, man. You can feel it. You know, you see Satan preparing on the left, but the Lord's preparing on preparing on the right. And we're right at that time right now, man. And, and you know, the, the the day show which we didn't plan kind of just basically went into the to the to the future kingdom to come, the kingdom of heaven, and how 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 the earth will be. When you see the righteous rule, all right, how the earth will be when Israel is set up, okay, and it's definitely not what you see now, man. Okay, 
So um, which, what you see now, man. Okay. So um, which proves that what the so-called white man, the nation of Edom, they're devils, man. They're demons, devils, and they're sons of the wicked. And all the other nations, you're you're just dead. All right. That's why the Lord calls you the house of the dead. Are you you're void of the spirit? Okay. You, you have no knowledge. Okay. Um. So that that's it, right? Okay. So yeah. So with that, um, that's the end of the show. Oh Lord, one, you were ever found the spirit. God bless you, man. Shai. So um, all praise to Yahweh. Hashem. Yahweh. Uh, double honors to the apostle of GMS. Double honors to our big brothers, the elders of GMS also. Okay, and, and peace and salutations to our fellow brothers, our fellow kings and messengers prophesying in this country and all of all of the world in truth. Okay. Uh Shalom. Shalom.